Let's take a look at the Bona wire brush kit and process. Before we begin creating the unique look and texture using the Bona wire brush system, we've got to ensure that the flooring has been properly sanded and prepared. It's also optional at this point to pre-water pop the floor, which will make it easier to remove the soft grain. With all that done, we're now ready to start the wire brushing process. And of course, safety first when using sanding machines, power tools, and sharp, pointy, fast-spinning steel accessories. Make sure everyone has on their safety glasses to protect against flying dust and debris, a dust mask if needed, earplugs or muffs to protect against loud machinery, and knee pads for the perimeter work. Always use the supplied leather gloves when handling the wire brush pucks, as the individual wires can poke you when least expected and use your gloves and the removal tool to help you take the wire brush pucks off after you're done. While we'll opt for the true wire brushes most of the time, understand that there are some circumstances when you may want to also use the Tynex brushes afterwards, or only use the Tynex brushes, for instance, when brushing softer species. We'll set up our variable speed polisher with the Bona Dust Shroud, the drive pad, and a wire brush puck. Set the speed between 800 and 1200 RPMs and hook everything up to our Bona DCS vacuum. To minimize the chance of picture framing where the sides of the floor end up looking different than the main field, we'll always start our wire brushing process around the perimeter of the floor, running the polisher back and forth until the desired amount of texture has been achieved. In areas such as corners, use the supplied wire brush hand tool. Miss the area with water and hand brush until the desired texture is achieved. When setting up your power drive, first clean out the inside of the chassis as needed. Then replace the standard dust skirt with the extra long dust skirt for proper dust collection. Then attach quarter inch intermediate pads to the wire brush pucks and place those units onto each of the drive pads. You can also add one additional weight to the front of your power drive if desired for more aggressive grain removal and to even out the distribution of weight around the machine for wire brushing. To start wire brushing the main field with your power drive, begin at the wall in a corner of the room moving from right to left with the Bona power drive clocked at a 45 degree angle to the flooring direction. Following the direction of the flooring, move down the full length of the floor at a consistent speed. During the wire brushing process, lightly mist the floor with water in front of the machine to soften the fibers making grain removal easier and improving wire tuft retention by preventing the brushes from getting too hot. Then in the same return path, keep the power drive with the handle parallel to the flooring direction and move left to right back down the full length of the floor in a feathering pass. Then we'll make our next pass with a 50% overlap of the previous pass Again, making a full run down and back in the same path. Continue this process all the way across the floor until you reach the opposite wall to complete your field work. If applying Craft Oil 2K, it's recommended to quickly hit the floor with the Tynex brushes to soften the effects of the wire brushes down in the grain. Once all brushing processes are complete, hit the sides and detail areas with a random orbit sander, set up with a quarter inch intermediate pad, bonus steel plate, and your chosen final grit. Hard to reach areas may need hand sanded with a hand block and paper. Then buff the entire floor using a Bona multi-disc and Bona steel plates with 120 to 150 grit Bona black or 80 to 120 grit Bona diamond abrasives to blend the entire floor together and remove any scratches from the surface of the hard grain. The bonus steel plates will ensure that this final buffing process doesn't dip down into and remove any of the wire brush texture and depth from the soft grain. After the final sanding is complete, deep clean the floor using a Bona Tampico brush attached to your Bona FlexiSand buffer and DCS vacuum. This will remove all of the fine dust from the soft grain pores allow full penetration of your oils, stains, sealers, and finishes, and minimize any grain rays. Vacuum the edges and detail areas using a 14-inch floor brush and dry tack to complete your preparation. As with any of your hardwood flooring tools, 
take care of your Bona wire brush system and it will take care of you. Remember these key points about preserving the life of your wire brush tools. So, there you have it, Bona's wire brush technology. When used with the Bona power drive and a variable speed polisher, the wire brushes remove portions of the soft grain to create unique texture and color dimensions. The brushes are durable and easy to use, and the kit minimizes edge and detail work. Thanks for your interest in the Bona wire brush system and for taking the time to watch this video.